Police brutality running wild in New York. Americans dragged, punched, and pepper sprayed. Woman on the ground screaming, crying after getting assaulted brutally by police. It's disgusting. Over 80 people were arrested over the weekend at peaceful anti Wall Street protests. Among them, Eric, beaten up and held for 36 hours. The deep scars on his hands speak for themselves. The activist is shocked by the price Americans are paying for speaking out about injustice. The police response has been overly violent and brutal. They maced five women. They collected them in a, around a net and then maced them, and they weren't even warned. The captain stepped up, maced their faces, and then tried to run away and avoid cameras that were around. The Occupy Wall Street movement was launched to kickstart America's own Arab Spring. This is a historical moment. This is the beginning of the people's revolution. Um, this government is not working in the best interests of the people or this nation. But for now, it remains a fringe movement, with the anticipated 20,000 people yet to gather. It would be nice if it grew into something like what happened in Egypt, you know. But, you know, there might be wishful thinking, you know, because the people here are completely brainwashed. It took America's mainstream media a week to catch up with the demonstrations. Protesters say some networks deny them coverage. CNN and Fox, I'm really disappointed. And yesterday, the uh, police responded in huge, extreme brutality. And we were calling them constantly, and they shut down their headquarters. They said anything we mentioned Occupy Wall Street, they'd hang up on us. Others say the outlets that are covering the Occupy Wall Street rallies are not doing nearly enough. Whispers, a couple things. There's, you know, but it's. People don't want people to know that this is going on. Are you kidding? There's been coverage, but it's like. You know, oh, a bunch of people done one article. Alternative news sources are the ones spreading the word far and wide. It's actually expected that the mainstream media would not cover, you know, the, this type of movement. Uh, you know, what would they, right? Um, you know, they actually benefit from the system, you know, staying the way it is. So I'm, I'm not surprised that, they, that there, is, there has been a complete blackout from the media. Twitter and other social networking websites are bringing people out. As three years into a recession, Wall Street has still not been held accountable for triggering the common American's worst nightmare. Wall Street has ripped off the American people to, to no end. Mortgage fraud, foreclosure, I mean, income disparity throughout this country is it, just off the hook. And the main reason I'm here is because of the corporate media blackout, the mainstream media blackout. You're, you're only getting the truth from alternative news sites. One in six Americans are living below the poverty line. Unemployment is at a, you know, this is the highest it's been in a generation, and, you know, uh, people are just can't find jobs. So we have to send a message. We have to send a message. We're paying attention, and we want things to change. We want the system to change. But the system is far from ready to change. It is yet to start taking people's outrage seriously. While demonstrators marched the streets of the financial district, bankers shamelessly toasted life with champagne right in their faces. The U.S. political and corporate elite embraces uprisings when they're far from American soil. But when similar events take place at home, bankers, politicians, largely the media, and many Americans turn a blind eye. While the financial district erupts with brutality and outrage, the rest of New York goes about its business as usual. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.